Here's a fun little project that I was asked to create for a guy that I know. He wanted a quick little sign to put on his dishwasher so he'd know if the dishes in the dishwasher are clean or dirty. Uh, it's a real simple project. Let me show you how I did it. So in Inkscape, I'm going to use the text tool and I'm going to write out the word clean and then readjust the width so it's four inches wide. I'm going to switch the font over to Cooper and then I'm going to take the word clean and duplicate that and then change that second copy to the word dirty. I'm going to rotate that 180 degrees so they're on top of each other and between the two pieces of text I'm going to add a box. I'm going to round the corners of the box so it gives it a little bit of style and then I'm going to adjust the lettering so that they barely touch the box and then resize the box accordingly. I'm going to take everything, I'm going to do a line of distribute, I'm going to center everything horizontally and distribute evenly vertically and then uh, I'm going to create a half inch circle. This is going to represent our magnet. I'm using this as kind of a test to make sure everything's going to fit nicely. I select everything and I'm going to go up to Union. It creates one object and then I'm going to create a black outline with a gray insert. And then I'm just going to change the, the line uh, to a dotted line for the magnet. And this is just mostly for reference. I'm going to take everything, do a line and distribute so it's centered on the object, and then I'm going to group this together. The pattern is a little bit wide, so I'm going to ungroup it, and then I'm going to select the pattern itself and make it four inches wide, and then recenter everything so that the magnet's right in the middle. Then I'm going to take this and duplicate that, and I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to make the bottom part uh, three and a half inches, and then recenter everything so that they line up. This way it gives me a couple of options, either choose the four inch wide one or the three and a half inch. So I'm going to go ahead and group those all together and then go ahead and print. I printed it out on the printer and now I'm going to cut out my pattern. I ended up choosing a three and a half inch size. Add a little bit of spray adhesive to the back and then I'm applying it directly to a piece of scrap oak that I had lying around. And then I'm going to drill out the entry holes. I thread the uh, blade through each one of the centers and I'm going to do the inside of the letters first. Get that kind of out of the way. And now I'm going to cut the outside. I really wish I could scroll this fast in real life, but I did speed this up considerably. So for this was pretty easy, we just kind of follow the contour. And then we finally get to the end of the pattern. With a little bit of mineral spirits, I spray down the pattern, and then after a couple of seconds, the pattern practically just falls off on its own. Once it's dry, I'm able to hit it with the palm sander, and that's mostly to knock off all the fuzzies on the front and the back. Then I take it over to my flap sander, and I kind of soften the edges a little bit. Just hold on to the workpiece pretty tightly because this thing can send the workpiece across the room pretty quickly. I had a couple of coats of clear acrylic spray. And now it's time to glue on the magnet. I line up the magnet to somewhere in the middle. Squeeze out a little bit of epoxy and just put a little dab on the magnet. You only need a little bit of glue, it actually goes quite a long way. I just press it into place and then I leave it alone until it completely dries. 
So there's a simple project for those of you who can't be bothered to look in the dishwasher and decide whether or not the dishes are clean or dirty. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button. That helps me out an awful lot. And if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. I do these videos from time to time and I'd love to have you on board. I hang out over at Scrollsaw Village. Go ahead and check us out there. I'm also on Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram. And I'll put links to all of those in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.